We like to tell the stories of our lives by beginning once upon a time. But what about before there was time? Before there were mass media and skyscrapers? Before our ancestors sat around a fire dreaming of what lay beyond the stars? Before the first cell broke from prescribed tradition, daring to venture out of the murky aquatic depths? Before those anonymous chemicals hit upon the magic combinations that would form the twining, helical, universal ladder of life. Back when there was only blackness and noxious gases and rock. What put the whole amazing pageant in motion? This is one view. In the valley between great prehistoric cliffs where water, the substance of our unwritten beginnings, accumulated, dissolving, mixing, churning carbon and sulfur, hydrogen and oxygen, into a history not yet dreamed. An occasional phosphorus atom breaches the surface of the pool that will one day yield something wonderful, something living. New combinations flirt with being, but nothing so extraordinary as when the eternal darkness is shattered by God's own thunder. In the mercurial blackness, the power to transform is unleashed with Zeus's lightning bolt. Begetting in its sulfurous wake, chemical progeny. A litter of new forms emerge. Amino acids, sugars, triglycerides, nucleotides. They twist and turn in the watery cradle, the crucible of creation the organic soup that holds an uncertain promise of a tenuous future. Silently, an amino acid reaches for another of its kind. Now a dipeptide. A third is added. Now a tripeptide. An eon or two of time passes. There is no hurry, no deadline, no plan. Only the endless testing of combinations the relentless search for a stable outer shell of electrons. In the fullness of time, a protein is made, and then a carbohydrate, and at last, nucleic acids, the keeper of the code. The template of our inheritance is at last written. Encircled and enveloped by the Janus-faced one, seeking both water and lipid. A rippling membrane divides the world, creating inside and outside, the self and the other. Immortality is forged through the marriage between DNA and protein, a reciprocal bond, a chemical yin and yang, from which cellular obsession, practiced over and over, a trillion times per second, endlessly copying the genetic legacy bequeathed by our ancestors, ceaselessly transcribing the encoded messages. A seeks out T. G accepts only C. Our biochemical bedrock, the ubiquitous proteins, is formed. And from so simple a beginning, the power to create life is unleashed on an unsuspecting planet.